Welcome back, Zingers, to another pro tip video. I'm Ryan Faluna here with Stephen Orr, aka Big Beat, and today we are going to be discussing the calendar tool. I often get asked, hey, how do I find analyst ratings? How do I find information on earnings? How do I find information on IPOs? And all of that can be done from the calendar tool. So today, Steve's going to give you a really quick rundown on that. So Steve, take it away. Yeah, very simple, Ryan. All you need to do is click on the calendar icon, whether that's a new workspace to the left, you'll see the calendar icon on the left-hand side. Uh, you'll see the drop-down menu right there in the top left-hand corner. Yep. Uh, the first one we're going to start with analyst ratings, Ryan. That's right. Analyst ratings are very simple. All you got to do is click on the date that you're looking for the analyst ratings. Uh, you'll be able to pull those up. You'll be able to see the ratings from the buy side, uh, downgrades, upgrades, uh, changes in the price targets they put in, and, and of course the uh, the analysts themselves, the analysts and the analyst uh, company that they work for as well. All right, the second one down is uh, going to be conference calls. A lot of times during earnings season, we want to be able to hear from the company, the CEO or CFO, of how well that company is doing. And so we make it very easy here at Benzinga. All you got to do is drop down, click on a conference call, and you can click on the actual conference webcast or you can call in the phone number to the right. Uh, many of them are already put in there for you. And of course, the, we did the work for you. The access codes are already there as well. So if you get on a phone call and you need to put an access code in, all you gotta do is click on that. You'll be able to get the access code as well. Next drop down menu there, Brian, is dividends. Uh, very important for long-term investors. Uh, you pull up a company, you wanna know what kind of dividend they're paying. Not only will you find out what the yield is, but you'll also see when they're paying it, whether that be quarterly, uh, if you look to, to the right, you'll see frequency 12, meaning yearly, fourth, meaning every quarter is going to pay, uh, one, meaning every month they're going to pay for those uh, CEPs. So very simple. Uh, next one down, Ryan, is going to be uh, earnings. Very simple. Earnings season is here now. Uh, we want to know when the earnings are coming out or what earnings have come out, as well as what the EPS are. Uh, are. Uh, if there was a surprise, whether it was up or down, um, what the estimated revenue was going to be, the revenue for the company as well. Uh, that's pretty simple. And it'll also tell you when it's coming out, for what quarter. So some of them in the Q4, I mean, it have been Q3 or maybe it'd be Q2. So, yep, the next one down, Ryan, is going to be economics, the economic calendar within Benzinga. Uh, the two things that are very important here is we, sometimes we want to just see the United States stuff. So if you click on a country sort, you'll see it not once, but the second time you do it, all the U.S. is right there at the top. The second thing I want to show you is importance. A lot of people want to know, is this an important uh, piece of economic data? So if you click on the importance calendar not once, but twice, uh, you'll see the five out of five. Those are the most important and sorted down four out of five, three out of five. All right, Ryan, the next one down. Yep, it's going to be guidance. Very simple. Uh, that's going to tell you what the guidance of a company is coming out of. Is a company, uh, are they uh, up in their guidance or are they lower in their guidance? We don't want to see them lower in guidance, but we want to see them up in their guidance. Very simple. Uh, you can also change out the uh, max guidance and the minimum guidance right there. Uh, Sometimes when they update, grade their uh, guidance for the year, we want to see them actually pushing it up. And so we can see that right there. Um, estimated difference. So you can see right to the right, Ryan, the estimated. Uh, there you go, estimated. All right, the next drop down menu is going to be IPOs. Very simple. It's uh, initial public offerings. Those are new companies coming onto the exchanges. And we want to know when they're happening. And we also want to know what the price is going to be when they come out, uh, what they're pricing up. Now the third thing we want to look there is insider lockup date. That's the first date of which those people that actually own the stock before they came on the exchange, when they're allowed to release, sell their own shares on the open market. All right, the next one down, Ryan, is going to be mergers and acquisitions, always better known as M&As. Um, we want to know what companies are merging. We also want to know what company is buying another company out. So you'll first thing you'll know is the acquirer, which means the person that's acquiring, and the one that's being acquired. So we want to know those two companies. We also want to know the size of the acquiring or the merger. Look to the right, you'll see the size of it. The, the latest one there is the SYK. It's $5 billion. Very simple. There's one there for PLD, uh, $12 billion. Now, you also want to know a couple things. Is it stock and is it oh, cash? Sometimes they're being bought by cash and stock. Both, you'll also be able to sort those payments out as well. All right, the next one down, Ryan, is going to be uh -huh, retail sales. One of my favorite ones. We all want to know um, how is a retailer doing. We want to be able to see a few things. Uh, my important thing is same store sales or how well are those, are those stores selling. Uh, also want to look at um, 
and I always look at the period, and we also also want to look at the margins too as well. You can find those margins also in the screener as well. All right, the next drop-down menu here is going to be SEC filings. Uh, these are in chronological order uh, based on when those come into the SEC. Uh, very simple. Uh, it takes a little time sometimes, especially if you have a large data set there. But for the SEC filings, they're coming in as they're coming into Edgar once they pop up. All right, Ryan, the next one coming up here is going to be secondary offerings. The secondary offerings are when a company needs to get more money out of the market. Uh, very simple. They go back and they raise more money. The last one here is over Therapeutics. Uh, share value there is 50. Now, one of the cool things you want to look here is if it's a shelf or non-shelf. A shelf means different layers of that debt structuring. Um, in this situation, there is a shelf here. Now they want to know what the proceeds are going to be. So how much money did they raise and how much money are they actually going to get? Sometimes they got to pay the company that is raising the money for them. All right. And the next one here is going to be the last one is splits. Uh, obviously, uh, we want to know what the ratio is. Um, when a company says that we're going to split the shares or we're going to do a reverse split, uh, we want to know exactly. The first thing you want to know is one for 25. You're going to get one share for 25. The other way around there, you see generics biotech. At the bottom, there's two for one, so you're going to get two shares for every one that you own. So there could be a split or a reverse split. All right. All right. We will tell you with a date as well of the distribution when it happens. All right, well, that is a really quick rundown. There are a bunch of different calendars here. I'm glad we covered them all. Again, remember, if there's something that you're looking for, you may be able to find it in the calendar. You may also be able to find it in the newsfeed. Uh, this is just another option for you. The calendar also allows you to search by a ticker, just like the newsfeed in the top bar, and also allows you to apply watch list filters to any of the different calendars. Thanks for joining us for this pro tip, and until next time, Zingers, happy trading.